You ever have one of those days where you just feel like no matter how hard you try to keep up with everything and to keep everything under control that it's just not going to stay under control for you? I'm having one of those days. I tripped and fell on a dog walk end of October. They found a giant sized tumor in my brain, which was big news. And I've been grappling with that ever since. I have a surgery pending. The insurance has been taking their time approving the, the surgery. I found out yesterday that the surgery was finally approved, but they made a mistake. And so they have to fix it before they can approve it. And I've been talking to my neurosurgeon and going back and forth with them. Well, a couple weeks ago, I had an MRI done on December 31st for my neck because my neck has been hurting ever since I fell and the pain's just not really resolving. It's not getting any better. And so my doctor who's been doing my physical therapy wanted a cervical spine MRI. Well, I got the results back on that today and I do have a spinal injury in addition to a brain tumor. I've got two bulging discs and three areas of injuries on my cervical spine, which is the portion of your spine where your neck is. So I've got a referral into a spinal orthopedist I'm gonna handle this one step at a time. They're gonna send me a referral. I'm gonna make an appointment. I'll go see the orthopedist and we'll go from there. I'm not going to let this get bigger than it is ahead of time. And I'm gonna take this one step at a time. I am healthy, I'm strong, I heal quickly. Whatever injury this is that I'm dealing with in my neck, we'll, we'll fix it, I will move on. And I will just deal with it one day at a time and we'll go from there. And I am feeling like I can't keep up with all of it. I feel like, how am I going to take this much time off? How am I going to save for this when I'm already going to be out for a brain surgery? I feel like it's too much. When I went to the ophthalmologist to get my vision tested so that I could be cleared for the brain surgery, they found cataracts in both my eyes. So I need cataract surgery too, which I know is minor compared to these other surgeries. But three months ago, I felt healthy. I felt bulletproof. I felt like I could do anything and that I didn't have a care in the world. Now I feel like I'm falling apart. I know that I'll be able to manage this. I know everything's gonna work out. It's all gonna be okay. I feel like I just, I feel like I just need to catch a break. And at the same time, I feel like I have caught nothing but breaks. I feel like it's just hard for me to reconcile it. I mean, it seems like the more bad news I get, the more I realize how lucky I am, but it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to process. It's a lot to manage. It's a lot to deal with. I know I'm up for it, but it's a lot. Good morning. It is the next day and I am feeling so much better today. I went to bed early, I got a good night's sleep, did some meditating yesterday, did some researching, and I'm not nearly as freaked out today as I was yesterday about the um, issues with my, my spine and my neck. Most of it, from what I can read, can be treated with physical therapy and anti-inflammatory medicines and shots and not necessarily surgery. Surgery is an option, but it's usually the last resort. And from what I read, 90% of the people who have bulging discs and other injuries like mine don't need surgery. So I am so much more relaxed today. A, a day really can make a difference and I am feeling so much better. So it's a, a beautiful day today and I woke up feeling hopeful, feeling like I can manage this, grateful for another day. Plus look how pretty our weather is today. It is a beautiful sunny day. I think it's gonna be 60 today. So nothing to complain about there. So here's a story about why I probably don't complain as much about aches and pains as I do. I was just thinking as a kid, we never had health insurance. We had a family doctor that we would go to in Silver Lake and his name was Dr. Wesley. And he was a very friendly, nice older man. Anytime we had a problem that needed to see a doctor, my mom would pay him $25 for the visit and he would take care of it. And in between that, in my family, complainers were whiners. And so unless your leg was broken or you needed stitches, quit your complaining and we would just heal. And so a lot of times now, I don't, I don't even register the pain. I have a very high tolerance for pain. I had both my babies without any pain meds. Don't take aspirin or Tylenol. I just, I just tell myself I feel good and I, and I keep going. And so I think that's why I am the way I am because I was just raised to put up with a lot of stuff and just deal with it out of necessity. I do have good health insurance now and they are taking good care of me and I'm grateful.